Hey guys, in this video we are going to study the self-controlled synchronous motor drive employing load commutated inverter. Okay, so here you can see this is the diagram given over here. Okay, so we'll be discussing one by one what all things is involved in this drive. So this drive basically involves two. The first point here is nothing but this drive you can see involves two converters. Okay, the source side and the load side. So these two converters we are having here left side is a source side converter right side is a load side converter now we'll be talking about what source side first so let us start with what source side so in source side which is nothing but the, this part okay in this part what is happening here it is also called as six pulse line commutated thyristor converter now here important point in source side we have having here we need to understand the range the firing angle range so whenever the firing angle range is between the first case come here whenever it is between this i am talking about the source side converter when it is between so for firing angle range i will represent source angle as alpha s for load it will be alpha l will represent l here okay it is alpha s here and alpha l here now whenever the alpha s value which is the firing angle lies between zero till 90 degree okay then this source side converter will work as what fully controlled rectifier now the second case comes here when the and one more thing we can add over here here you can see id is the current and here one more thing is there vds is the voltage across this converter right so what about that so whenever the alpha is angle is between 0 to 90 it will act as the rectifier and it will deliver positive vds and positive id Okay, this is important positive VDS and positive ID. Now, next for the B case, the B case will take it is nothing but when the angle is between 90 to 180 degree, what happens? Now, this source side converter will act as what? Inverter. Okay, now it will act as inverter. Now what will happen to VDS and ID? Now heat this drive will which is acting as inverter will deliver negative VDS and sorry VDS and positive ID. So ID is positive in both the cases but VDS here it is positive here it is negative. So this is what happening in what? so side converter let us talk about the the load side converter so here we are having what load side converter in load side again the same thing whenever the uh, alpha that alpha l will take alpha l ranges between which is nothing but the firing angle 0 to 90 what is happening here also it's the same thing it will work as what rectifier it will work work as rectifier and this will give again the same thing same thing only difference is that it will give positive vdl okay here vdl we are using voltage across what this load side converter and whenever it is between 0 not 0 90 to 180 it will act as inverter okay 
so whenever this act as inverter same thing minus v, uh, negative vdl and positive id so here also you can add positive id this is what happening so same thing same th same procedure same it will act as the same thing okay converter now let us talk about what if we are combining these two this, till now we talked about separately source side and load side what happens when we have to combine these two so what will happen let us discuss that just before that just note it down so whenever this acts with the, both the things source side and load side so there are two possibilities one is motoring operation another one is regenerative braking so what will happen in motoring operation let us discuss that now so whenever the firing angle range is between 0 to 90 for source side remember this alpha s is for source side and alpha l is for load side and 90 to 180 degree for the load side remember it is different okay <clears throat> source side and load side and one more thing with vds greater than vdl so it is nothing but vds is nothing but the voltage across the source side this is the voltage across the load side okay so this three criteria whenever this criteria is being followed then we can say that this will act as the motoring operation why because the load side the source side the source side will act as c0 to 90 it was acting as what rectifier and load side will act as inverter so what happens when low source side is rectifier and load side is inverter so whatever the power is there that will flow from ac source to the motor it will from this ac source it will flow to the motor so this is this is nothing but called as what motoring operation this is the first case <clears throat> now let us talk about the second case now here when the firing angle ranges between 90 to 180 for the source side and 0 to 90 for the load side okay now it is just reverse now the source side will act as the inverter right source side will act as inverter and load side will act as the rectifier so when this happens now it is just a reverse of this okay this is acting as inverter and this is acting as rectifier so when this happens the power from the motor will be the now the what happens now the power flow reverses and machine operates in regenerative braking so initially it was operate uh, for power was flowing like this now power will flow like this okay so that is nothing but power flow reverses this is called as regenerative braking so this two mode of operation is very very important now let us talk about some more few more points about this one so here we have the sixth point the load side converters can be commutated that means you are talking about the thyristors okay the thyristors can be commutated means switching off commutation process is nothing but the switching off the whatever the thyristors is being used so load side converters can be commutated by what by motor induced voltages and what about the load side load side we will call it as line also okay so line commutated converter 
Line commutator converter means they are talking about source side. Okay. So line commutator converter are commutated by line voltages. That means source side thyristors can be commutated by line voltages, and the load side this thyristors can be commutated by motor induced voltage. This point also you can just remember. So few more points we'll just write it off. In the eighth point, the magnitude of torque depends upon what BDS minus VDL. Okay, VDS is nothing but the we, we have already seen the source side voltage and this is the load side voltage speed can be changed by controlling the line side converter firing angles so line side converter firing angles means we are talking about the source side converter firing angle source side converter okay so that thyristors when we change the firing angles we can control the speed and the last point when working as inverter we have to be careful that there is a possibility of commutation overlap Okay, so the firing angle has to be less than 180 degree to care, take care of commutation overlap. So they shouldn't get overlapped. Okay, that's what they are talking about because there are two two converters has been employed over here, source side as well as load side.